Judges are advised to provide judgments in all cases in simple English to help the public understand the mind of the court. The Chief Judge of Malaya, Tan Sri Zulkifli Ahmad Makunuddin, says judgments must be understood by laymen and not just lawyers, as those mounting the cases were often not themselves legally trained. Simple, direct, and plain language will be sufficient as it will get the message across and it is unnecessary to write complicated line of sentences. On the other hand, there are still traditionalists who strongly believe that these legal jargons or Latin terms are the ones which add beauty to a form of legal writing. The judiciary, however, holds the view that judgment should be written in plain language and the usage of legal jargons should be, should be used only if it is necessary. This is because the judiciary is of the view that judgments would have to be read also by the parties in dispute instead of solely by the counsel representing them. More often than not, the judges are encouraged to write a speaking judgment which can be understood and the reasons of their decision are provided in plain language so that the public can understand and appreciate the message it brings. He said this at the LexisNexis's Author Appreciation Day on Wednesday. While it was mandatory for judges to provide grounds of judgment should the decision be challenged in an appeal, there have been cases where no judgment is written if a case was not pursued. I am content to say that your work as legal writers and authors played a major role in these developments. Legal writers have the responsibility to command and simplify the judgment made by the courts. As judges, we do not have the luxury of explaining the details facet of each law in a particular case, as cases are often convoluted with various issues of law. This is where legal writers and authors would play their part they would shed light on the rationale as well as detailing the issues of law in the various cases. This would enlighten the students, practitioners, and even judges to see the broader aspect of the subject matter. Meanwhile, Malaysian Bar President Stephen Tiru, who was present, says the Bar is still engaging judges to provide written judgments even when no appeal is made. In its emergency general meeting in 2015, the Malaysian Bar had raised a motion on engaging the judiciary to ensure judgments were provided more consistently.